Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Hey, hey, my friends, my family, my followers, it's Hike360 here, and I'm here to bring you a new hike this week. I am walking along the Fox River Trail uh, out here in Tekawitha Nature Preserve. And that is in St. Charles, or really in between St. Charles and Elgin, Illinois. And I am here with my dad, of course, Howdy. and my brother, Neil. Hello. I don't think you've seen Neil since uh, Illini State Park when we were winter ca camping in the cabin. Uh, be sure to check out our videos with Neil in them under that playlist, Illini State Park. We were snowshoeing as well with Neil. Oh, we were snowshoeing in... Yeah. Um, That's right. Dick Young yeah. in King County. And we're in King County now, I'm pretty sure. So there we go. Seem like to be here. seem to be drawn to this place. But uh yeah, we're here just finishing one of the six hikes we have left. Yeah, something like I think seven. Six or one of the seven hikes left, yeah. Uh that we have left in the book. And it's really just come down to these short little hikes. So this one's like two and some change miles uh, so we're gonna knock it out and then we're gonna go hit the last one we have in DuPage or really just west of Chicago uh, and that one is I don't remember off the top of my head so we'll give it to you on the next set of videos yeah and then we're gonna sleep in a hotel tonight and knock two more the last two out in Cook County tomorrow so that's what I know we're coming up to Fox River there's a bridge it's decent out it was raining it's not now Wow just nailing the bullet points. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's decent out, it's raining, but not now. Uh, we did have, uh, the rain was was perfectly timed. It rained the entirety of our drive, and then it stopped. So we got lucky, again. We always do. Neil, you wanna say any opening comments? Um, good. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Neil.draws. Uh, perfect. That's right. <laughs> Pretty good. Sign, subscribe, uh, like. I watched that video today. So we are crossing the Fox River. I think the book said this was a mile long bridge. How can this be a mile long bridge? Who said it was a mile long bridge? I thought you did. What did the book say? 0.15 miles? 0.15 five miles which is hardly even worth printing so this is the fox river that's pretty this cool very pretty. the hike is a balloon this is a very good balloon because we're just doing the straight line across the river and then over there we circle look at all the ducks down here Well, this definitely seems like the highlight of the hike. The sun is out and the plane is, planes are in the sky. I have an app called, what the heck's it called? Plane Tracker or something like that? Anyway, that plane is, I believe, Air China. It's uh, out of Anchorage. Let me look that up. Kind of fun to look at these planes they're, they're a couple minutes apart so you can look them up this area the stone up there and this uh hollowed ground as they say are unknown soldier graves and memorials uh from the black hawk wars and uh, i thought it was kind of interesting the black hawk wars kind of you know spread over to the fox river we know them from the rock river uh, and the Black Hawk Wars are Loudoun National Park, the big statue of Black Hawk. Yes. And what was the place after that? The fishing place, and then we got uh, Shabana. 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 State Park. Yeah, that had uh, Black Hawk War. Yeah. So this whole this so we're out west, straight west, and uh, this is the Black Hawk War area, which I always like to bring up. Even though I'm wearing a 
Chicago Bears shirt today <laughs> instead of a Chicago Blackhawks shirt. So we're doing the balloon and the trails just kind of like this. The trails were described as a bowl of spaghetti. Yeah, uh, we're wind. about to pass the trolley system, by the way. We're going to walk over the Fox River trolley. Oh, cool. Okay. So, um, from the map I have, uh, it actually starts kind of in this forest preserve, the more, more towards the center. And then it looks like it goes out to the bike path that we turned in off. Mm -hmm. And uh, up and then out of the range of the map. So, so further than I What was that know. trolley moving people what, from Elgin down to the Fox? Uh, yeah, it's an active trolley. Still active or inactive? No, active. I'm, it is still active. I, I think you can buy tickets and take this trolley. Really? Along the Fox River, yeah. We're going to find out here. But I'm pretty sure it's... Jelly that we have today is a special jelly that we have not had before and dad brought it back from switzerland yeah well, i so, hope this is the right trail dad uh, i took a look i think it is okay uh dad tell us the name of this jelly sandborn is that it sandorn sandorn that's it sandorn jelly sandorn which, with two d's which means buckthorn of the sea yeah and a berry looks a lot like the gooseberries. It's kind of a little yellow berry. Mm -hmm. I saw it in a shop. I had no idea what it was, but it was edible. <laughs> so I brought it back. And uh, what do you guys think? I haven't tasted it yet. It's okay. I think it's, I think it's pretty good. It's kind yeah. of sour. Okay. It's definitely different. Yeah. It's uh, liquidy. It's more like uh, the consistency of honey. Or a confit. Yeah. Oh, it's just graffiti. Oh, this is sweet. Knowledge within me, I now know my worth. That's so cool. And there's like a secret trail. Ooh, the secret trail. The trail of knowledge. So this is... I love that. That's that's a nice piece. It is the trail of knowledge in there. I mean, I'm gonna go quickly. Right, there he we'll goes. See if we'll like get you on camera. Is there a down? This is the last time we see Ryan. What are some of the titles of the jobs you're looking for? Concept artist, storyboard artist, visual development, like environment and character. Illustrator. Or character illustration, background illustration, storyboarding. Yeah. And what was the first one? Concept art. Concept art in general. In general. All digital, all the time. That's right. Not a big traditional guy. Yeah, well, you do great work. Thank you. Think he's coming back? I don't know. All right, you came from the opposite direction. <laughs> What'd you find? It's actually pretty cool. What might it be? You want to go? It comes out to where we're heading, so it's just a different trail. No big knowledge? There's, yeah, let's go. There's knowledge? Yeah. There's knowledge. Well, we're coming to the end of this hike. Tekawatha. I think that's pretty close to how I'm supposed to call it. I got a hour 10, 2.6 miles. And uh, how'd you feel about that? It was pretty. I liked it. I thought it was pretty neat. I mean, there are a lot of changing sites. Yeah. Uh, this is not a solo hike in the sense of don't come here for this sole purpose. Do two or three hikes. But, uh, well, this is what the trailhead looks like. And, uh, little picnic area, I guess. All right, so we're done with this hike. Ryan, you got any comments about this hike? 
this is a good one. That, that bridge is worth coming here alone. People are fishing, people are riding their bikes, and people are hiking. Uh, but the bridge between Tekawitha and uh, John Muir or whatever. Not John Muir. No, but it sounds I, like... It's not the John Muir. <laughs> it keeps making me think of that uh, when I read this guy's name in the Forest Preserve. There's a bridge connecting the two over the Fox River, and the bridge is really cool to to hang out on and, and spend some time on. So I'd say come on by. It's a solid little hike, short one, uh, family friendly, not too strenuous at all. So check it out, Tekawitha Forest Preserve.